Hello, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, good wherever you may be, in bed, on the couch, in your car, at work, wherever you are. Have a good day, good evening, whatever. Hey, so, I was asked to go all the way to Forza Motorsport 5, the show, what would be a really good rear wheel drive drift car that would work, and it works on the other forces, so we're going to do it here too. So, here it is. Here's the Nissan 240. Pretty car. I love the spoiler. It just gets me. And then, you know, big fat muffler. Oh, yeah. So, here we go. Uh, the library was by that guy. I don't know if he even makes it anymore. But, uh, yep. It says tuned by King Posh. Um, so, let's just get right into it. Sounds good. Hmm. We get a little history. With roots reaching back to the very beginning of the Japanese, Japanese automotive industry, yep. Nissan has a long history of making some of the best selling sports cars in the world. From the beginning, Nissan's cars were built to be good looking and fun to drive. Sporty models like the 510 and 240Z were huge successes. The 240SX was especially appealing to motorsport fans who wanted to experience the joy of driving a front engine, rear wheel drive car, a layout that made it popular for drifting. Nismo, the motorsports division of Nissan, creates high performance race cars. Their team was the first from Japan to win an international victory, taking the grueling 1958 Around Australia rally. Where Nissan really shines, however, is in the Super GT Series, formerly known as the All Japan Touring Car Championship. Nissan has won 14 team titles and 16 drivers' championships, more than any other company. All right, here we go. All right, so I got to go pretty soon, but here I'm going to just show you guys what I did to this. So first off, we'll go to my tunes. I have a ton of tunes for this car. Um, this one I just put up um, recently. It looks like someone's already downloaded it and is using it. It even has the description of King Posh on there. Um, and it works fine on, on this game. Um, Here's my auto drive setup. It's got 396 downloads, 42 likes, 1,327 uses on there. And that was my secret tune that I used for a long time. Then here's another easy auto drive that I did. Um, Alright, so and that had um, 144 downloads, 21 likes, and 448 uses for that real wheel drive. Um, and yeah, so, and then we got the Legend Easy Drift, which is my other all-wheel drive. And if you guys can tell, I have 4,097 downloads, 375 likes, which I don't get because there's 10,529 uses for it. So, King, King's Legend All-Wheel Drive Drift Team, Legend means the best. So, and as you can tell, people have used it dramatically. So first, let's just go right to what I've done on this one. Let's go right to the tune. All right. Now, um, they asked me to do the 5.7 liter V8. That's what they wanted. Um, the other one I have is, I believe, this one. All right. So, and I'll show you guys everything that I have. Okay. So these are the engines you can pick. Okay. Um, stock drive train, rear wheel drive right um twin turbos on this because that's what they were asking for all right so and, and it works um i i usually like superchargers when it comes to my my vehicles but hey whatever uh 789 horsepower works let's go right into the tune show you guys what i did so 15 15 it's got uh let's see what tires did i put on here Go back. Alright, I put the drag tire compound on there. And max width for the for the front and max width for the rear. 
Okay. Uh, rims. Um, I definitely with my TC-105s that I like. And uh, what rim size did I go for? Oh, I went with the 18s for the front and rear. All right, now we're going to go right into the tune because everybody knows what the roundabouts of what I buy. So 15, 15. Here's the gearing. Here's the alignment. Here's the anti-roll bars. Here's my springs. Okay. Here's my dampening, normal dampening for my front engine rear wheel drive cars. All right. No arrow. Here's my braking, normal. And then my differential is full on maxed out. All right. And, and, that, and that works. Um, it works very, very well. I'm only going to take on a couple corners and I'm going to bring up the other rear wheel drive that I have. And we're going to see the difference of that one. It's strong. Whew. You gotta be with it. Or that'll happen. Still a lot of power. That's why I like superchargers. Turbocharger kicks in, takes everything out of out of whack. See, that's the difference right there. That's why I don't like turbochargers. I'm going to show you why. Because I'm going to take it and put a supercharger on there, and you're going to see a difference. All I have to do is just change a couple things. All right, supercharger. All right. Go over here. Upgrade my supercharger. 715 horsepower. All right. That's all. That's all good there, right? Yep. All right. Tune car because that changes things. Changes this that there that there apply test drive let's try it again Much better.
And as you can tell, that works a lot better using a supercharger versus a turbocharger. All right. So let's go into the other cars. Let's go into the other rear wheel drive and let's see what I did to it. Uh, setup manager, load setup, my tunes. All right. Now, let's go to this one. See if there's any difference. All right, so 59,000. Okay, what all did we do to this thing? Engine. We want the 2.6 liter inline six. Okay, of course we left it rear wheel drive. All right, what did we do for body? All right, we went with uh, Ings. Yep, non, because I mean, honestly, I wasn't gonna do that again or put downforce on it. It's gonna be different. Another Ing. It's just not quick enough for me. And charge on the side. All right, what kind of tires do we put on here? Drag tires. I can see there's a rim dis difference here. Looks like definitely my rims that I like, right? And then I maxed them out, probably. Oh, wrong button. That's all right, it happens. And I maxed them out. 20s in the front, 20s in the rear. Okay. And of course, all the engine upgrades and everything. Let's go right into the tune setup and show you what I did. See if there's a difference between my retune and then this tune. 1515. All right, a little difference in the final drive. Uh, it was in 2020 on the last one. All right. Not much of a difference on alignment. Just a, just a difference in um, uh, acceleration. Um, if the tune works, don't fix it. Yeah, pretty much the same stuff all right there. All right, huh, crazy. So, that's that car. Now, if we really want to go any extreme, let's go and see what my, my highest, my all-wheel drive. All right. All right. So 718, and this is the this is the 10,000 uses. So we'll show off that one. Okay, of course, when it comes to engines, we went with the racing engine on there, 718 horsepower. Of course, we made it all-wheel drive because it's an all-wheel drive setup. Uh, we did west for the front. Stock in the back, west on the in the back, and we did west in the side. So it's basically a west setup. Okay. All right, let's go right to the tune and show you guys what I did to the uh, to the car. So 55, 55. All right, 310 is is my my gearing for the final drive. Yeah, there's my there's my alignment. No anti-roll bars. There's my springs on this one. There's my dampening, as you've seen in my my newer videos. That's what I like to use. No arrow. There's my braking, as you know in my other videos. This is what I like to use. And this is my differential that I'm using on this one. So, and there you have it. All that. And I mean, hey, for people to like that setup, you can get, what, 10,529 uses? Wow. Crazy. Yep. And then uh, this is my KP's Top Drifter. This is another one. So let's just do that too while we, while we have time. Okay, it's five thousand dollars. All 
All right, let's see the difference between it and between that one and this one. So we'll go all the way to the front. All right, 55, 55. It's got a top speed of 164. There's the um, the final drive. All right, a little everything's different on this probably. You'll have to tell me. Here's my alignment. No anti roll bars. All right, slightly different um, springs for this one. It's like my rear wheel drive setup, but it's for the all wheel drive. It actually works. All right, same um, dampening as usual. No, no arrow. Same braking. And you know, and a different differential. So. Um, completely, you know, different tunes when it comes to um, handling and everything. Um, but it works. So, and uh, what we do to this one? Yep, it was all west, right? Yeah. And then uh, engine size. Uh, what did we do with that one? Um, that was with the uh, 5.7 um, liter V8. So, that was that one. And... Uh, Yep, and with a single turbo, not a twin tail, really, just a single turbo to save weight. Yep, because once you actually put the um, upgrade, it actually makes it heavier than that. So, and that works. So, now, not, now, so I don't get confused, because um, that's what I tuned it for in the first place, was this one. So, we'll keep it on this one for now. So... You know, in case if somebody wants to go one on one or something, which is always fun, especially since I don't play this game very much anymore. But um, yeah, so there you guys have it. There's my my rear wheel drive tunes for the V8 for the 240 and everything else. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on Friday. Later, guys.